many preachers have different styles and it got me thinking, what if a weather reporter would be a preacher? It would go something like this. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, turn your focus onto the forecast of the Holy Bible. And as we will be looking at the Holy Bible, we will be seeing the differences between heaven, earth, and hell. As you can see here in heaven, everyone is walking freely and uh, the, the skies are clear, there's golden streets. And as you can come down here in the earth realm, we can see that there are four seasons. And these four seasons, there is Hurricane Contrida and Hurricane Sandy. Breaking news, the hurricanes are coming to South Africa, which means we're changing their names from lovely sounding names like Sandy and Katrina to Mas Vung Vung. And as you can come over here, down in hell, the depths of hell, the weather report is the same today as it was yesterday. It is burning hot and it's going to keep continuing to be hot every day. Tomorrow's forecast for hell, hot. Wednesday, hot. Thursday, hot. Friday, hot. Hot, hot, hot. My name is Lindsay, and this has been your weather report. One day, a preacher was uh, expounding on the book of Revelation, and he felt people weren't really listening, so he thought he would hit the pulpit to give emphasis to the message of the second coming. So he said, Behold, I come, and he hit the pulpit. People didn't respond. He then said, Behold, I come, and he hit the pulpit again. People just didn't respond, so he thought he's going to give it gusto. And he said, Behold, I come out! And he hit the pulpit, and the whole thing broke, and he somersaulted, and he ended up on top of a lady in the front row. And he got up, he said, Madam, I'm, I'm so sorry. And she said, It's okay, Pastor, you warned me three times. I grew up in a Christian home and it's fun growing up in a Christian home because Christian mothers have threats that are a little bit harsher than mothers of the world. Because mothers of the world, they'd swear at their child, do all kinds of things to their child. But Christian mothers, they look at you right in the eye and say, listen here, I will beat you so hard, you will understand what Jesus was going through on Calvary. In some academic circles, they use the Bible to prove scientific or historical facts. And I heard about one such study about the origins of Adam and Eve. What race were they? What part of the world were they really in? This can be an, a source of great debate. And I know that they have excluded the Chinese. Apparently, Adam and Eve could not have been Chinese. Because if they were, they would have left the apple and eaten the snake. Some pastors that preach prosperity have nice names, like Creflo Dollar. You want to give out a dollar. It would be bad if he was 50 cent. At the end of the service, many pastors like to stand at the door and then they greet the congregation as they leave, you know, handshakes, hugs, uh, chat a little bit. So they're going to get together with their congregation. And on one such day, this pastor was standing there shaking hands and an old lady came by and she said, Oh, pastor, pastor, your message today, oh, it was so good. And he was trying to be humble. So he said, Ah, oh, don't worry, sister, it was the Lord. It was the Lord. She said, oh, no, Pastor, it wasn't that good. It was just good, not, not Lord level, just, just good. Mm -mm. 